A section of Clearfield now has running water after going without it for a day. It's all started from a pipe break on Monday afternoon, and the outage affected three schools nearby. As Northern Utah Specialist Mike Anderson explains, at least two of them are making some major adjustments here. Yeah, you know, the water uh, just restored here uh, moments ago at this construction site for a new I-15 on-ramp. Uh, Clearfield High School is only part affected today, but both North Davis Junior and South Clearfield Elementary went the whole day without running water. As city workers flush out a hydrant just yards away inside. We plan for these types of things. It's school as usual while South Clearfield Elementary goes without running water. The district's got plans in place. And it's just, that's why it's so seamless. Porta potties are placed around the building, plenty of bottled water and hand sanitizer available. Cold lunches were also brought in for mealtime. The kids bounce back and they roll with the punches very easy. Still, Principal Buck Ekstrom says they're using the force to get through it. Optimism and resilience and endurance are part of our theme, and yes, we have to do that today. The water main break happened at this I-15 on-ramp along 700 South, affecting both schools and homes. The crews there were just moving dirt, uh, and the continual movement over top of the dirt actually just put pressure on the pipe and cracked the pipe underneath the road. Clearfield's communication director Trevor Cahoon says while it may sound simple, the repair is not easy. It's a, a welded steel pipe that's tar-coated. Uh, so. It just needs specialized equipment to stop the leak. Still, for the two schools completely affected, very little has changed. It's just a, another learning opportunity for even the students today. Yeah, so again, that water turned on about 30 minutes ago. And since they had uh, some water at Clifford High, just only some minor changes there with the gym class today. Mike Anderson, Live at 5.